and welcome back to another in-depth weather video. Today we are talking about the Memorial Day weekend forecast. It is the unofficial start to summer and hopefully many of you will be able to get out into some of the nice weather, but some of you may be in some very dreary weather. I'm talking to you, Northeast, and we're going to be talking about that today as well as many more uh, subjects. So if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. Now let's get right on into it. Starting off with the NAM 3 kilometer model, and right now we have one main system, and that is this low pressure in the Northeast, and this is a super soaker of the super soakers. Uh, many areas in the Northeast have already seen over an inch of rain from this storm, and this storm will be moving through the rest of the Northeast throughout the day today, maybe even a little bit of snow on the northern end, but as this low pressure moves off the coast, it will intensify just a little bit and bring a little bit more moisture. But... The Northeast is not out of the woods after this system moves out. This low pressure lingers, brings in some more Atlantic moisture from the cold front of that previous system, starts moving to the north, and you have round number two of super soaking weather. Now, we also have a system that is formed by this low pressure over here at the four corners and that brings up some gulf moisture with some thunderstorms and just general raininess in the plains now this is pretty condensed you just have uh mostly texas oklahoma kansas nebraska colorado and new mexico as part of this system as it's very slow moving but you could see some areas, see some general showers, especially in parts of the Great Lakes region, but nothing that'll really interrupt your weekend. So in terms of overall severe weather chances for the south central part of the US, we're going to go to our mixed layer cape here and just take a look at all the energy that there is. And we do have plenty of energy right now. Uh, just stocked up in Texas but this system does use a lot of the energy that is given and even though it is pretty slow moving it does get a lot of energy to consume so I wouldn't be surprised to see a little bit of hail uh, a lot of lightning there of course uh, strong winds now tornadoes here let's check the bulk shear and it does seem like there is enough general shear uh, in the region as of now but as the, as those storms move in it might be a little sporadic so I think that the chance of tornadoes is going to be up and down through the weekend probably Sunday and Monday being better chances than Saturday so let's move on here just to the nam here and right after hour 60 we have that system finally moving out in the northeast throughout the day on monday system in the central part of the u.s starts to move to the east and that goes into tuesday now in terms of the wet weather we have plenty of it and a lot of that is centered around the northeast as well as those thunderstorms now the thunderstorms are probably a better situation in the northeast as you know my thinking would go these are going to be heavy rain and shorter bursts but in the northeast it is just going to be a steady moderate rain that's just going to keep you in your house it's going to be cold, it's going to be dreary, it's going to be rainy, it is going to be a really, really muggy weekend for you, if especially right along the coast where this storm is just going to be feeding off of all that moisture in the Atlantic. So, 
I know it's a little bit disappointing, especially uh, for the people that are finally trying to get out there and have a little bit of fun over the holiday weekend, but for the western U.S., for parts of the south that were just drenched by rain, for the Great Lakes region, not much rain. And some areas will see absolutely nothing, as well as, you know, that's most of the west. So, you guys get to have a great time over the holiday weekend. We just have those two spots that got the short end of the stick this year. But, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.